I ended up there. Just completely. That, that's the end of it. Yeah. That's not where I'm going to nick it, though. Yeah. Completely delaminated, eh? Yeah. down to uh, uh, we've we've removed all of the material and we're down now to the plexiglass against the uh, aluminum and we can see already that uh, when this was manufactured back in 1998 this is not adequately sanded which means if you don't have a really rough texture there can't be any gloss here at all if you don't have a, a really rough texture here you will not have um, the fiberglass won't adhere to it and that's exactly what's happened. So, looks awesome though. We're, we're on the right side here right now and we're just taking a look. And again, there's all kinds of areas that are shiny and none of this is supposed to be shiny. It's all supposed to be uh, very well scratched. So, anyway, a uh, significant chunk of work here is done. We're ready now to uh, to start preparing for actual fiberglass work. Just looking at the uh, the in, inside of the fiberglass here. And so this piece here would have come right off of here. Not a whole lot holding it on. Anyway, we're right down to the metal and it'll be properly prepped. And tomorrow we're going to be laying the, uh, the bead down between the, um, the plexiglass and the aluminum and start building it up. Friggin' uh, droplets of water out of my uh, air. So I'll have to bring my air dryer. It's gonna take, you'll see once I start to run the bead because it's pretty thick, the yeah. gap. Better safe than sorry. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so this goes on. Can you set a timer for 10 minutes exactly? Yep, will do. And that 10 minutes is what, taken off? Or no, 10 minutes you apply. 10 minutes flash. Gotcha. This has to sit in the air for 10 minutes. Yeah. And you have a five minute window. Okay. Can you hold it with both hands? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're down to the last 10, 15 seconds. Yeah, that's it. We're good to go. Okay, let's see what happens here. My turn to make a mess. So you're going to come back with the putty knife? I'm going to come back with the finger.
it, just so you know. But, but uh, if, if we were to be better with her now... So what we're doing now is getting all the air out of the... Uh, okay, at what point do I let this go and, and just focus on what... You gotta work at lots. Um, yeah, you can see a little bit of light through there. It's starting to build up. It's a good side to look at it. You can see the light coming through. Got a low spot there. Very good. Just hoping to get this to show up on camera. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. But uh, this area here is well sanded. And um, let's see if I can see here. Okay, here's a really good example of this is not. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, Eric's got better fingers than I do. I, I can feel it. He says if you can feel it or you can see it, it'll show up on paint. But um, this is absolutely perfect up here. And down here, you can see I've got to sand this whole area here yet. Uh, cowling as well. Come in close here and you should be able to see it. Uh, back up your light right here. You see this? Yeah. These are stress cracks and um, they're only on this side and I took a look actually at the uh, at the cowling and the um, the baffles are very uh, tight here so we uh, we took a look on the other side and prior to us repainting this, it's this area right here, it was, uh, uh, I'm going to say about half thickness. You can see actually where the baffles sit. It was greasy here as well, but I cleaned all of this off. And right in this area, it was uh, had worn through about half of the uh, fiberglass, which was causing the stress cracks on the other side. So we have cleaned it all up and we've grounded this down and we're going to be rebuilding this before we finish the other side. Here we've got uh, the uh, surface is just uh, starting to be prepped getting roughed up a little bit and uh, also uh, filling in the, uh, the screw heads. This is called Fiber Tech, and it's available at Napa or Benson's. You usually get it in a pouch, and it's for steel, loom, carbon, carbon fiber, Kevlar, pretty much any flux. All right, we're gonna do that one.
Well, we've got the first layup over the top of the windshield and uh, blending in to the sliding canopy. Lots of work yet to do on this one, but it's an excellent start. See these little minor stuff? They'll pretty much sand out. And so when you get the primer on it, it, it makes those things very visible, right? So well, you can see there's what our repair. Awesome. It's still a little rough. I'll sand that a bit and it'll be smooth. smooth. Very cool. And we took care of there's some pinholes here. Okay. And yeah, well primer's wet, you actually smooth your finger over it, rub it on there to fill a little pinhole. And this is this is I where went across the rivet heads because some of them were kind of rough. And we had this is where the stress crack was. Yep. Looks fantastic. Oh no, it's going great. And this is the uh, the nose part of the uh all right, I am like absolutely spent. I'm going home to bed. I hardlined it. Yeah. I based it. Oh, I, okay. I pulled the tape off and then cleared over. Oh, okay. All right. There's clear coat on top of the decal, but it shouldn't. It doesn't have stuff. Well, that's ready to go on. Okay, we don't have great lighting here, but we're just doing a color match there. There's the new paint on the. Uh, let's take a look around the other side here. Gonna have to polish the aircraft to make it uh, look as good as the uh, as the new paint. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> All right, there's the uh, top of the cowling, and here's the spinner. Looks uh, darn near gorgeous. Wow. Just looking at the uh, layup above the uh, the windshield here. Like he's reworked this side a little bit here. A little bit more sanding. Wow, is that ever nice. Wow, is that ever nice. What an improvement. Look at this. Look how smooth that is. So, okay, so we're saying that uh, the spray gun is obviously connected to the air compressor. The dirt that comes out of the compressor is yes. thick enough that it will show up in your layer of paint. Okay, so this is between the compressor and the gun. Yep. Well, if you look around, show me more. Right now is the time to find them. Uh, Evercoat, metal glaze, it's putty. So this is after the primer? This is for light scratches, pinholes, small depressions. Every couple of weeks if you got questions or anything like that. So this is the, uh, one of the final uh, repairs. Actually, I'm right in the shadow there. I'll go over here a little bit. There we go. And so what kind of sanding is involved with this now? 
like 320, 400. Yeah, 320 or four, and then 400. 320, okay. then 400. 320 and then 400. This is a 190 micron strainer. Okay. And it's just if there's any particulate in here, yes. like off the can yes. or off the stick when you mix it, it this takes it out. Okay, and this is not the final color, correct? No. No. This is a ground coat. A ground coat. Okay. I can turn it into a jet or a full pan. Very cool. Not a good temperature right now. Excellent. Okay, we've had a little bit of a setback. Tell me what's we, happened. We had a reaction. Basically, the the solvent borne paint that's left behind from the spray can yes. has the same solvent in it. But when you spray it as what's in my paint right there and what's happened is the solvent in our upper layer has eaten into what's underneath because it wasn't fully removed there's two spots on the whole cowling here and there almost symmetrical okay yeah i see it <laughs> and you can see it with the camera okay so this means that uh, we're done for tonight this has to dry it has to be, it, it's it's got well because this this is this is like a, a sponge underneath. Now it's all sunken in there. Gotcha. If I go in, yeah, see. I, I'm tempted to try and sand it. I suggest I suggest we wait. Looking to remove light scratches, you use a swirl remover. If you're trying to get rid of something bad, you can use the cutting cream and you can go a step beyond that and use sandpaper if you're trying to remove a scratch up to 5,000 grit. Well, we're done. Just putting it back together. Mm -hmm.